Hey everyone, I'm Julia and welcome back to Crocoblock channel. In today's tutorial, I want to introduce you a WooCommerce endpoint. You will find out what an endpoint is and how you can use it on your website. Together, we will create a custom My Account page and also templates for all of its endpoints. If you are new to our channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video. By the way, if you need more information on Jetwoo Builder plugin, you can check a playlist of WooCommerce Store from scratch on our channel. So, shall we get started? With the help of the Jetwoo Builder plugin, you can create custom templates for all the WooCommerce pages. However, if you create a My Account page template and apply it to the default page, chances are it won't work correctly. To avoid any difficulties, you should create separate templates for all the My Account endpoints and then display them on the page. But first of all, let's clear up what the endpoint is. Simply speaking, the WooCommerce endpoint is an additional part of the content that is shown after certain conditions are met. That part of the content changes the page's URL. As to My Account page, the Edit page, Orders and Download tabs are endpoints. When the user chooses to open them, an additional part will be added to the page URL. For example, it can look like that – your website name, slash, my account, slash, orders. Endpoint functionality allows your website to show different content whenever users need it without generating access pages and harming the page loading speed. To create a My Account page endpoint template, open your website's dashboard, go to Crocoblock, a WooPage Builder menu tab, and hit the Add New Template button. In the drop-down list, choose the My Account option and name the template. For example, it could be a template for the orders endpoint. Click the Create Template button. When you start using the WooCommerce plugin, all those endpoints are created automatically, but you don't need to use the default design if you don't want to. The Jetwoo Builder plugin allows you to build your own pages and style them any way you need. So, you will be redirected to the Elementor page builder. Find the My Account Orders widget and drop it to the page. Let's customize it a bit. As for the heading, select a font you like, change the size of the text, and also set a different color if needed. Border type solid. And I'm gonna set width to 1 and also adjust the padding and set alignment to center. As for the cells, I'm gonna apply the same steps and also you can customize the button style as well. By the way, you're free to add any other widgets you consider useful for your users like the image or product sliders, recently visited pages or text pieces. In case if you are creating any other endpoint template and you don't know what widgets you can use, go to the widgets panel and start typing My Account. These are the available widgets that you can use on your account page. For example, My Account Dashboard for the Dashboard template, My Account Addresses for the Addresses template, and so on. When you are done, publish your template. The second step – enabling the custom template usage and applying it to the endpoint. Go back to the dashboard, go to WooCommerce, Settings, Jetwoo Builder tab. Scroll down and find My Account page section. First of all, enable Custom My Account page and enable Custom My Account page endpoints. Also, choose the template you just created in the My Account Orders Endpoint Template drop-down list. That's it. The template is created and applied to the endpoint. Repeat the steps for all endpoints you want to customize like dashboard, address, etc. 
I already have them created beforehand, so once you have them all, please select the template for the appropriate endpoint. And don't forget to save the changes. Now let's see how it looks on the front end. When you open the My Account page, the templates you created will be applied to the appropriate endpoint. So this is my orders template that was applied to the orders endpoint. In this case, we have a default My Account page template. It's pretty simple and you cannot style it as you want. But if you want to use custom endpoint template with the custom My Account page template, here is a different approach. Endpoint custom templates can be used with the default My Account page template, but in this case the navigation will have a design that is defined by your website theme and the endpoint, the one you have chosen while creating the custom template. To create a 100% custom page with the same design for every part of it, you will have to build it from scratch. The first step is to create a menu with the endpoint URLs. Go to your website's dashboard and open the Appearance Menus tab. Click on Create a new menu. Give it a name, for example, My Account menu. Now hit the Create menu button. And on the left, you'll see Add menu items box. Unfold the WooCommerce endpoints section and in the Add menu items list, Choose the endpoint you would like to add to the My Account page menu. I will select Orders, Addresses and Account Details. Also, I will add one custom link that will be for the dashboard. And you can change the labels if you want to by unfolding the menu options and changing them in the navigation label bar. Also, as you can see, I have this Jet Menu button. Once you click on it, you'll see a Mega Menu settings window. If you're using Mega Menu for the first time, I suggest you watch our detailed tutorial on how to create and design a WooCommerce Mega Menu from scratch. So, my goal is to have icons next to the menu labels on my account page. It's very simple. Go to Item Icon and select the one that you like from the library. In case you have your own icon you'd like to use here, choose SVG in the icon type and upload it. Also, you can set any color here and adjust the size. When you're done, hit the Save menu button. After that, go to Croco Block, a Woo Page Builder tab and hit the Add New Template button. In the drop-down list, choose the My Account option, type in a template name, and hit the Create Template button. The layout of the page is completely up to you. Let's say if you want to show the navigation, choose any of the navigation widgets, for example, Vertical Mega Menu. Drop the widget to the page, and choose the menu you created in the previous step. Under the settings, you can choose whether it's gonna be on the left or right side, and also change the animation. In the Style tab, customize your menu so it better suits your website. In the section where you would like to show the clickable endpoints, place the My Account Content widget. This widget will pull the necessary templates when you click on the menu tabs. By the way, if you cannot find this widget, go to Crocoblock, Jet Plugins Settings, JetWoo Builder, Widgets. Find My Account Page Widgets section and enable My Account Content. In the recent update, My Account Content widget got more options to style some endpoints that don't have templates. Let me open My Account page in a new tab and show you what I mean. So, we styled Orders template, but there is also a View button. Let's click on it. 
On this page we can see order details and billing address. But the style is a bit off and yes, you cannot style it while you're creating my orders template. However, this is what my account content widget allows you to do. And let's get back to the Elementor editor. And if you click on the style tab in my account content widget, there will be a lot of options to style the addresses and orders elements. Let me unfold, for example, view order table header. I will change its font and set this green color so you could see where the changes were applied. And repeat the same thing with the view order address header. Of course, this is not the style that suits my website theme, but I just wanted to show you that it's all possible and now you can style even this part. So again, order details page and also edit address page can be customized now with the help of my account content widget. And don't forget to publish your my account template and now let's apply the template to the page. Again, go to WooCommerce, Settings, Jetful Builder, scroll down to the my account page section. By the way, check if custom my account page is enabled. And finally, choose the template you've just created in the my account template drop down list. Save the changes. And here is the final result. So and that was it for this tutorial, if you enjoyed it, please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also you can check this playlist if you want more videos on Jetwool Builder plugin. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.